I'm joined now by Ismail Sizgin. He's uh, a follower of Fatullah uh, Gulen and uh, is uh, currently director for the uh, Centre Hizmet Studies in London. Um, do you condemn this coup attempt? Yes, yes. Uh, we do all condemn this uh, unequivocally. It is, you know, it brings back one of those horrible memories in 1980s and stuff, you know, like that you, we don't want to see that anymore, that military intervention in Turkey. So why do you think the government, therefore, should uh, accuse uh, Fethullah Gulen and his followers of involvement? Uh, I should say it is unfair and probably untrue and uh, because anybody who follows Turkish politics last three years, big or small inflation, even Russian plane fall, everything has been accused to and attributed to Gulen movement. It's almost a way out from corruption claims, a way out from international crisis, a way out from uh, even BBC making the news about Turkey is because uh, probably Gulenists are in touch with you and they make you do that. Or even in, in that sense, uh, I think two years ago, there was a call in uh, United States senators made a call to Turkey, and in Turkey it was labelled as Gulenist made senators, well, almost 95% of them to make this letter. So I think I should be very cautious, cautious about to, to believe in that this level, such a surprise coup attempt that took government surprise as well. Uh, but uh, we don't know who is behind this, we don't know which military personnel is responsible and stuff. But uh, consistently, we are fed with the same story that uh, somehow it is, again, Gulen. And it comes uh, convincing enough for the public in Turkey because there is an, a massive media, uh, you know, like a publication about this last three mm. years. But it is, it is going to bring closer, do you think, or at least increase the calls for the extradition of Fatullah Gulen from the United States? Um, well, at this moment, as a citizen of Turkey, I would be more concerned about the democracy in Turkey. And regardless of political clash between, uh, the, well, it's not even a political clash, it's the pressure from the government to civil society and, and mostly to movement, I would still uh, support in this sense the elected government, not a military regime. And for that reason, I wouldn't really, I don't think it is even fair to bother about whether this would harm this and that. Now the you know the country was at the brink of a, of a horror movie last night. You know, like it could have gone worse. It could have gone to Egypt. It could have become Syria. Thanks God, the public, the citizens take up uh, responsibility and they stop this. And I should also thankful to the military personnel who was drawn to that area, but actually. You know, like when they realize it is it is it is a coup attempt, okay. they actually withdraw. So it is too early to say anything. You know, like what it would be political implications, but we should be thankful that uh, it's not uh, back into military regime. Okay, Ismail Sezgin, a follower of the uh, U.S.-based Turkish cleric uh, Fatullah Gulen.